I just put this video that you're about to watch, hopefully you're going to watch it, on my Hickbilly Outdoors with DW Verts channel. Because I felt like it does cover a couple different things. But since it's about my old bass boat, I'm putting it here also. Uh, you got to do a little bit different or you get in trouble for stealing from yourself. It's amazing. I may still get a little notch, whatever. Hope you guys like this thing. It, it, I'm not sure what I'm doing with my boat. It, it's, a, it's a long story. It's been a, a week-long saga of me being an idiot. Trying to do videos, trying to make things work. It's, heck, it's, yeah. It's, it's not been a good week and a half or so for me as a fisherman. I, I'll talk about that maybe some other time. Anyway, here's the video. Hope you guys like it. Thank you. Oh, links in the description to everything. Here's what we're doing this morning, y'all. I'm pulling my boat down to my favorite folks in the world of folks who I've worked here, sold boats here back in the day, to my techs. We're going to do a little diagnostic stuff on my outboard motor. Maybe show you all a thing or two about buying or selling your boat or an outboard motor. I think you guys will find it pretty interesting. We're going to do some checkups. So, see how that goes. Old school. Talk to you in a little bit. You're going to see me talking a little bit about outboard motors basically when it comes to buying or selling a boat the importance of having a motor checked out there's important things in the boat too and i may do that i know it's all been covered before but i have my 200 Mer my mercury mirror same thing i have it checked out by a good technician we do it live on video hope y'all like this i'm also posting this video on my bass fishing channel if you like to fish for bass uh, I'll do a slightly different version so I don't get arrested for plagiarizing myself. <laughs> That's old school bass fishing with DW Verts. Uh, I always put links in the description to my other stuff below. Thank you guys. Try that. See if that It gets confusing. Act natural. If you can't act natural, don't act at all. Hey, here's what we're going to do. Chase here is going to do a compression test on the old Mariner. If you're uh, buying or selling an outboard motor or boat with a motor on it, it's a good idea. Now, first thing I said was we do a leak down test. A leak down test is, shows you more than what a compression test does. But this is a fresh motor, freshly rebuilt here. It ain't got 12, 15 hours on it. And I know... If the motor's stout enough, we'll have to do that. A leak down test is better overall. It forces air in the cylinders and it just shows you things a compression test don't show. The motor's also not warm up to temperature. I'm not worried about that because I know it's a fresh motor, right? Yeah. Otherwise, we'd want it warmed up. No. No. You got to go crack up once in a while yeah. about this stuff. So you've got the phone in your pocket. That okay. means you're in charge. Brazil's yeah. Pizza Hut. <laughs> Another thing we're going to fudge on, Chase put new water pump in this and new lower unit fluid in April. The boat's been in the water 13 times since then. I'm not worried about it. It's not leaking. It's going to be fine. I would always, lower unit's one of the more expensive things on a motor. I'd always check that too. Check it for metal shavings and water. Anything else, Chase? Lower unit. On the lower unit? Metal shavings, water. Metal shaving water and fishing line behind the prize. Yeah, that's fishing line's a killer, especially with braided line, but fishing line's a problem. The boys made a note to me a minute ago, do not do this yourself with a cheap compression tester. If you don't have a tech to take this thing to, you get your own compression tester, don't buy a $30 one at Walmart. It, you're just not going to get good, accurate readings. They're all different. They said you don't have to have, well, it's not the difference as long as they're all the same in each in each spectrum. You get 150 to 80 pound spread. Yeah. You're fine, but if you don't get that. The, the, the deal is how much difference you have between high and low. That's the difference. That's what compression means. They show a little bit low if they're not warmed up. 107 is priest out. Down to it. Now I wrote that down. We're going to 
document this. Well, that's pretty tight. 109. Yeah, 108. That's pretty good. Two pounds so far. Yeah, that's down. That one's 107. <laughs> 107. Top and middle. Yeah, middle, right. They run lean. Yeah. Six. Well, I can say without a doubt, in all the years I've been around this, I've never seen six cylinders with just three pounds difference, especially on a cold motor. It hadn't been warmed up. Normally you have five to, five to ten pound difference. Yeah, maybe. on a real good motor. And yeah. you could get by with, so, 20 pounds difference wouldn't scare me on a motor with a lot of hours on it. You get much more than 30 or so, you're starting to show a lot of wear. Right? Close yeah. enough? Yeah, yeah. I still prefer a leak down over the... That's, well, if it was a motor had more time on it, yeah. for sure. A leak down. So, guys, if y'all are buying a motor, selling a motor, it's easier to sell them, and you're going to be more honest with your person buying it if you do this. But if you're buying one, I demand that you have a tech or somebody do this. If you can do it yourself, it just makes more sense. This shows the motor's fundamentally stout. I know the lower unit's good. We just did that. It's all fairly fresh, so that's the point of it. What else, Chase? Anything else you would do? Go over it. Look for loose stuff. Look for stuff hanging. Look for trails of tears on the transom. Oh, yeah. And then look for loose stuff. Look for, make sure you have OEM parts. If you're starting to see, like, Sierra brand or if you start seeing CDIs, you know, you might have some problems there. See if they delete the oil system. Ask them why they deleted the oil systems. Nine times out of ten, that's an overheat. That's why they deleted Especially on a Mercury, yeah. where it's a gear-driven system, not like the VRO on the Evan Roots. It needs to be deleted. You got EFI, an older EFI like this. This little plastic cup link right here needs to be inspected. That causes a lot of problems when it fails. But other than that, compression, that's about it. Not much else to stare at. And the fact it starts and runs and sounds good, idles good, starts quick. Yep. Now, I run the best fuel in this. I run the $4 something gallon. 91 octane ethanol. No free. ethanol. Because ethanol is still the biggest engine killer there is, right? 90% of my work. Keeps you in business. Yep. It hurts to put that kind of money in it, but it hurts way less it would to have a... $3,500 power head or whatever it costs anymore. On oh, $3,500, get a power head on this, will it? This, this one right here, I can't even get this old. Right. But you're looking at six grand now. $6,000. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, run to good fuel. And that's, that's the only way it's going to work for me. Thanks, Chase. That's pretty good stuff. You're welcome. We did this for a lot of years. Chase was a little bitty kid when I first came here, and he has turned into his, his dad who we miss terribly. So there's my documentation I'd show somebody. It's going to help you sell one. It's going to help you buy one. I would never buy one. I would never buy one without, big. without at least a mechanical on, a, on someone that actually works on these. Either it be Yamaha, Johnson, or whatever. If it's mercury, bring it to a mercury guy and actually have him do a mechanical on Ain't it. Ain't that amazing? That just, there's some people can't work on different brands of motors. We used to work on, we still work on everything here. Everything. For the most part, I try to. Now I don't have the specialty tools. For to the do, new stuff. For the new yeah, stuff. Right. I got you. That's the only kicker on that. But the older stuff, I can still work on all that stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yep, I trust that motor for a lot of hours. I'm telling you, it don't have 15 hours on it, if that much. I've put about four hours on it, and 13 times. I don't run it a lot. That video was shot at Laurie Marine and Sporting Goods, um, Gravoy Mills, Missouri. So if you're in the central Missouri area or come to Lake of the Ozarks, these are just the greatest folks. I'll put a link in the description to their Facebook page. I've known these guys for a long time, since the mid-90s. Um, Chase's dad, Dean, was the finest overall marine mechanic I ever knew in my life. Um, 
and Chase is carrying it on with a tradition since Dean's gone now with his sister Amanda and her husband Jeremy. They're great folks. I gotta say thank you to those guys. They supported me for a long time, even when I wasn't fishing. We've been friends. I don't think I would have bought a used boat without having them know the boat. They've always serviced that boat. I, I sold that boat brand new, so it's kind of an interesting deal that way. Uh, hope you guys like this. Uh, appreciate it very much. We'll talk to you later. God bless.